Hey guys, today's video is sponsored by Raycon, one of the longest standing sponsors of the Cleese McFarlane YouTube channel. Raycon's everyday earbuds look, sound, and feel better than ever. With these optimized gel tips, you pop these puppies in your ear, they're not coming out. And eight hours of playtime, over 32 hours of battery life, because this case can charge them right back up when you're done with them. You pop them in there, not only does it protect them, it charges them. Not only does Raycon's everyday earbuds sound as good as other leading brands, they cost about half the price. It's no wonder Raycon's everyday earbuds have over 50,000 five-star reviews. And a couple bonus features, these are sweat and water resistant, so they can withstand that occasional, left them in my pocket, put them through the washing machine. And another thing I like is they're super easy to pair and they can work up to 33 feet away from your phone. So if you set your phone down and walk away, you can still listen to your music. And guys, today you can get 15% off your Raycons by visiting buyraycon.com slash Cletus McFarland. The link is in the description below, but let's get to the live action. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Cletus McFarland YouTube channel. All right, guys, here we are at the drag strip again with our 7-0 car, Leroy the Savage. <laughs> but today, we hope that this is a six-second car. We've had this ongoing issue where the car spins on the one-two shift, and we've done lots of phone calls, lots of research. Lots of moving things. To try and sort this out. I guess the first thing would be we think we had low pressure in our shot canisters. The second would be we think we had a bar angle that not exactly ideal for stick shift so it's hard because stick shift stuff there's not a ton of guys that run it yeah so some guys are like oh run way less bar angle oh, you need way more so we've kind of been in between but um when we had a lot of bar angle in it a lot of anti-squat we weren't having issues with tire spin yeah and ever since we dropped it it's just been progressively getting worse so okay and then we also have the traction control box from shannon davis on this car that we've never used and I was sitting in bed the other night just thinking, I was like, why don't we have the traction control on? It's kind of a Band-Aid, but we're gonna turn all that on. We made a bunch of major changes, and hopefully today we can get through that one-two shift under power. Obviously we can do it slower, you know, and go 706, but we need to go through that smoothly and the car will go way, way faster. So we shouldn't be on the ragged edge of spinning the tire just to go a six. It should be able to go 670s, you know? I know we say it's it all the time. One of those things. But... Something feels right about today. It feels great outside. Yeah. We're all not bundled in coats. It's it a good day. Good. It's going to be a good day. Sun's out. Beautiful skies. Good. Sam's wiping down Leroy. Let's see where we're going this morning for the good run. So we should be in good shape, guys. Yes, sir. Here we go, Leroy. All right. Feeling good about this one. Oh! Oh! All right, 114.60 foot. Looks really good. You gotta read your data. All right. So fairly slow. He lifted uh, right around the 330, but went 114 to the 60 foot and 319 to the 330. Rolled to a 503 at 112. Nice, eight. nice. Now we got. Hey. Hey. Now we got something start. to work with. It's a start. the boost cut the boost ramped in so slow it shot up hit the boost cut well brother dude, what did it go to the 330 slow 319 well oh yeah that is pretty slow yeah but dude it looked good i don't know it didn't feel very good it was kind of bouncing it's, it sounded very flat well i had the boost turned way down 
because I wanted to get some uh, I want to get some data on the traction control yeah but now we have that but it kind of was bouncing I think the boost ramped in so hard it hit the boost safety oh, okay which said at like 42 so that's pretty spicy spiced up the bounce is back buddy the bounce is back okay guys looks like we got into the rear shock travel so hard we topped out the back shocks and that's why it was just bouncing maybe that's our theory so we're gonna uh <laughs> try and slow down the rear end so it doesn't get all the way up to the top there that's like it was topped out went from one inch of travel at the bottom when it was sitting on the starting line all the way up to eight inches maxed out so that's pretty spicy and when we added that pressure in the canister that naturally gave us more shaft exposure, so we have less actual travel. Oh, okay. So what we can do is we can turn the shock down and get the car back where it was again. Okay. I just don't want to make too many adjustments to where yeah. we're just totally fresh, so. All right, cool. All right, mo boost and tighter shocks. That's our theory. Here we go, we run! spicy burnout oh, 749 at 146 dang dude okay. he was on a mission there so back on par, 111 to the 60, 308 to the 330, 466 at 148 to the 8th. It's down a few mile an hour yeah. from last time out to the 8th, also a little bit slower. Then he lifted about a thousand foot, rolled to a 749, 146. Nice. 308. Making progress. Actual Not where progress. Not to be to do what we wanted to do, but no, get there. But down you know what i mean it's just a way better feeling way better feeling than reversing 111 in. 60 foot 308 330 466 down a mile an hour in the eighth but brother that's so much less horsepower than i've had in it to go 466 whatever we did we're on to something yeah i just working happy now whatever we did it's, it's way happier because that's a lot less horsepower to make that number than what we've had before all right all right, guys, everything looks great in the data log. You know, we were making some pretty serious boosts, 40 pounds of boost in second gear. We came out of first gear at 22 pounds of boost. Made it through the shift, which we're really happy about, but we have this problem where the rear end is just topped out. So this blue line is the rear shock extension. It's just getting to the very top of the shock and running out. So we got to change the bar angle a little bit. It's too aggressive which might really take us back a few steps, but. It might, but overall it's what we're here for. We got to figure it, out dude. exactly where it's gotta be. So, make well, a bar change and do it, dude. see what it does. Gotta do what we gotta do. This engine's running great, I gotta say. Shout out to our boys at Texas Speed. She's taking 40 pounds of boots like it ain't no thing. Clutch report, the best it's ever looked. I mean, it's not dusty. The, mesh, the adjustments and base pressure are staying relative right there. What did I we mean, change? Why is it just being so good? I guess it's the bar change you're getting it out the hole faster. Yeah, it well, could be the tune, the bar change, and the clutch all together. And the weather, the stars are just a lot. I told you it was a good day. The stars are all <laughs> All right, well, let's uh, let's make it work, boys. All right, all right brother. Here's the deal. Uh-huh. We got a fresh traction control tune. We got a bar angle change. What's the bar looking like? It's looking better than it was, so it's good. Yep, so, we angled it. Bar angle was so aggressive, it's making the back end get way up under the car. Trying to slow that down, yep. essentially. But it's kind of a guess because you change the bar angle geometry and that changes the speed at which it travels and then you got to change the shock movement. you know a lot of science a lot of cars. changes yeah. clutch is the same tune is spicier let's do it all right leave on Finally, Leroy doing good burnouts again. We got tail lights back. 
Dude, it's like a brand new car. All right, Leroy. Well, do what you used to do when you was brand new. Go down the track, go fast. Sixty foot. Oh, we hit the boost safety. Damn it, the boost safety. All right, so we slowed down a little bit down through there a good bit, lost a good bit of mile an hour. So, pull some data, see what will happen. Buddy! Oh! No, wait till it goes. We got the boost safety again. Did it? Yeah. Turn that shit off. It's at 45 pounds. Yeah, I don't want to go that far. All right, boys. I called Pete. We chatted. I don't know if you see that. That's what we're going with. Was he drinking okay. a Mountain Dew when he made this tune? Yeah, well, he, he actually made one that wasn't this spicy. And I called him and I said, brother, Spice it up. I want to go six instead. So I think he was gonna get. He'll probably get us to a six ninety nine, because that's how Pete is. He makes it happen. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, I kind of want to go a six ninety one first rip. You know that's what I'm saying? Right. Bury that thing. So we're gonna try this. It might not work, and then we'll put Pete's tune in it, which I have in here. So <laughs> you bring the laptop. Oh, this is it, Sam. Oh, right here. Tell us here. something. Uh, let me tell you guys. We've waited forever for this right Sam. here. But right all now. Here it is, right here. This is the big news of the day, getting ready to happen right now. So you're getting ready to see a run that we've not done yet until right now. So here Matter of fact, it might even be that rat now, R-A-T, rat now. Right now. To go up here and do it right now. Here we go. <laughs> this is the run we're waiting. Oh, yeah. Again. Making all them boostesses. Come on, Leroy. Oh my gosh. Here it goes. 710 at 192. Good run. Let's see what we got. <laughs> what we got there? Didn't pick up none. So we're 111.5. 303 a little better to 330 but still not enough to get it there yeah 459 it's been a 56 150 i think it's been 154 so through yeah. the middle is where we lost it up top but you know not bad to be able to go a 710 a to b deal yep the same 60 foot 111 wish it would have picked up a little bit there but that's gonna be close dude bottom seven boy knows his car <laughs> that's for sure <laughs> 710 yeah that's what it felt like 459 man the 330 is ripping 303 all right we gotta knock some off the 60 foot and we'll be there let's cool it down let's cool it down we're gonna make you guys cool it down it. fuel it up don't, don't give her some faith. power don't yeah. lose faith we can pick no 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 no, 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 she's good, dude. I mean, heat. I think I accidentally cleared the traction control log, but all right. Oh, okay. 710, guys, 710, we're there. I can knock a tenth off it. Just when I thought it couldn't get any spicier. Yeah, so now. What have you done? We're adding 200 more RPM to launch, tighten the clutch, two more pounds of boost. We're gonna run 47 pounds of dome out of the back, which should be about 45 pounds of boost. Holy Toledo. We are leaning on us. Is Leroy rated for that kind of power? No. That's got to be over 2,000 this, this horses. This engine is definitely not rated for this. We are on the ragged edge of uh, of making this happen. How many horses would you estimate that would be about? I mean, it's making it's making 2,000. It's making 2,000 horses. We're on the edge of the rods. Yeah. You heard right. it here first. You heard it here first. It's a rod. It's a good thing it don't have coolant in it. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. All right. Well. I did see him change, save this as the ghost pepper tune. It's all yeah. the way spiced up. All the way spiced up. All right. Well, you know. Got to hear this thing when it gets past 60 foot. Go. <laughs> just come alive. Okay. All right. Here we go. 
All right. Leroy with the hot ghost pepper tuna up in it. Got the Carolina Reaper tuna in this baby. <laughs> okay. Tail lights are shining. Turbos are spooling. Oh, buddy. This is Leroy's. Man, we've been attempting it so long, I don't even know how I would react if he just ran six seconds. Six second run. <laughs> this thing was on a rip. Leroy, that was definitely that was definitely a lot faster than the one before. A tenth of a second? I just don't know, man. I can't call that one from here. Oh, please give it to me. Please give us the six, brother. Oh my gosh, 701. Dang, dude! 110 with a 4, 299, 454 at 153, 701 with a 4 at 191. It was 194 mile an hour. Golly, what a rip, dude! Get her cooled down, drive her straight, boy. She get down through there, 69999. Yeah, he was way left. Shoot! Engine sounds a little rough. Oh, that was it. We got a hurt engine. Oh no. 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 701. She's not happy. Okay, I don't know. Well. I don't know. It's not it's not as bad as it could be, but it listen to that here. It's got, right. I call that the blazer bump. 110, 60 foot, 299, 330, 454 at 153 in the eighth, 701 at 193. Dude, it looked like you were going a thousand miles an hour, dude. I felt like I was doing 500. Yeah. <laughs> it was such a good Let me look trip, at the data dude. log, make sure it's got oil pressure and everything down there. I mean, I, does that sound bad enough to not run it? <laughs> Hopefully we see something that looks a little funny. The funny thing is, this is like no different than the OG Leroy engine. Well, this is slightly different than the OG yeah, Leroy engine, dark. but similar rods and pistons. It's not that special. It's got a decent block, but it's the same heads, same rods, same style pistons. So like, we used to run 30 pounds max, we're running 47. <laughs> Yeah. Asking a lot of the old girl. Like the quite valves frankly. are obviously taking an absolute beat down, revving at 8,400 on the shift. And uh, it's just not ideal. You know, these valves aren't meant for this type of heat. I think the guys at Texas Speed would want us to do this. I, I How think does you're this totally happen? Right. What is. 
7.0. What's the difference between 7.0 and 6.99? That's nothing. On top of that, why? 7.01 is the most frustrating number you can get. Like, Leroy, why do you have to hold up on the point zeros? Does it have to be like this? Does it have to be like this, Leroy? Act right. You're done. But you're done. All right. I'll just stick a fat tune up in it. It's either going to do something or it ain't. If it feels like a turtle, I'll just get out of it. We'll yeah. Fix it, All right. It was cracked to me. Uh Another day gone, dude. Get closer each time, though. 708, then 706, now 701. Hardest milestone we've ever had to break through. Stick car in the sixes. Who the <laughs> hell thought this was a good idea? <laughs> we used to think this wasn't even Yeah, possible. I mean, it, I mean hmm. it was your idea, bud. I know. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. Actually, the engine's fine. It's making plenty it's of still making. Power. Can't say I'm not a little bummed on this one. Yeah. yeah. It's really close. I mean, more the closer you get. But hey, yeah. we got our best 60 foot. To, well, no, not 60 foot. We got our best 330 no. today. We best got quarter. Our, we got a PB. New PB. We got a PB. 701. Yeah. And the Ain't going to get a whole lot closer than that, but now. I just am like, <laughs> how many times can we go 7 0? So far, about 57. We will have to return to the track soon enough to try and bust into the sixes with Leroy the freaking savage. What a ridiculous process. This is this is a heartbreaker, dude. I'm, I thought we had it. Thought we really had it. So we'll end it off there. We'll be back as soon as we can to go for that six. But for now, guys, thanks for watching. Do it for Dale. We'll freaking see you later. Running on a horsepower is a real SOB. The savage. Mm-hmm. There he is.